Griffin's Occasional Series in YouTube tutorials. Uh, this day I did Fisher's test in MATLAB and today I'm going to do and now I'm going to do it in Excel and we have the same chart before so metric or categorical yeah nominal or ordinal nominal yeah uh, unpaired and the expected is less That's the lady taste, and that's from that website there, and uh, that's Penn State. So, in case you haven't looked up the MATLAB, there is the hypothesis. So, quite important if you're in Ireland or England about whether you put the tea in first and then the milk, or the milk first and then the tea. So, Lady Muriel reckoned she could, she knew best. She could. She could tell whether it was tea first or milk first. So there's your little experiment. The rows are fixed by the experimenter and the columns, for want of a better word, are the dependent. So in effect, the rows are the independent and the ladies are the dependent. And the null hypothesis is that there's no link between the rows and the columns. In other words, the lady doesn't know what she's talking about. That there, uh, the lady has no discerning ability, like she has no idea what's going on. So it's, it's just you might as well spin a dice as or as try and work it out. So, next thing to look at it's a hypergeometric, and the formula is given there. This is from Wikipedia, just to give the credit for that. There, uh, you have studying A, B, C, D. And then you have row totals, column totals, and you have the whole thing. And there is just where I'm highlighting at the moment. It's all those factorials. So quite simple to implement. Next thing to do, I took, we're doing this in Excel. I took the file from uh, Fullerton EDU. Could have done it myself, but just Lady Muriel problem that Fisher was in England in the 30s. There's A and B factorial, C and D factorial, A and C and B and D and N factorial. And we get a probability now. That was a little quick, so let's see the formula. So just use the fact command in uh, Excel. There they all are. And then you just divide, just to go back to Mr. Wikipedia. It's A plus B factorial, C plus D, etc., 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 over A factorial, B factorial, C factorial, D factorial, N factorial, etc. Now, different ways of doing this. And did it in here, we get an answer of 0.229 when we, so that's his answer there. And we get slightly different. We get 0 0.2285. So decimal places here in Excel. So remember H naught rows and columns are random. And H A there is a link. So what's our conclusion here? The probability is 0.228. Sorry. Probability is 0.22. Oh me. 0.228. And that. Now I didn't say. I just say when I did it in MATLAB, uh, level of significance is 5%. So what's our conclusion? Uh, since the probability point 
0.228 is larger than the critical value of 5%, we have no reason to reject HO. Statisticians love the double negative, but if you're explaining that to the layman, what we're saying is the null hypothesis, our basic assumption is that the lady doesn't know what she's talking about, and things are just random, and our conclusion is supports that. So the level of significance is 5%. We got 0.228, which is much, much larger than 0.05, so we have no reason to reject the null hypothesis. One other thing, if you look up the MATLAB, they get a different answer, and that's because the MATLAB version uses a correction factor. Some people say you should use the corrector, correction factor, others say you shouldn't. It's not an exact science, but we're just going to go with the answers that we have. Okay, so hope that helps a little. Thanks very much for listening.